last question is from Faisal. He says, we are ordered to lower our gaze. So how do we deal with situations where we have to talk with non-mahram women like receptionists, saleswomen, air hostesses, doctors, teachers, etc. The rule is general. Allah says, and lower some or part of your gaze. Allah did not say lower your gaze completely because then you're going to uh, 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 smack a light pole or maybe run into another car. No, you have to distract your gaze if there is an unmahram woman. But this cannot be done unless you take the first glance and the first glance is yours. So I'm driving, a woman crosses the, the road, I do this, I realize she's a woman, I lower my gaze, look the other way. Not do this and say, oh, it's the first gaze, I'm still enjoying it. No, this is haram. This is predetermined, this is uh, um, intentional. And it's haram. Lower your gaze. Now, some cases you're permitted to look, as in the case of a doctor who is allowed to look where it is necessary. So a female patient comes and he has to examine that specific place, a, a, her hand, her ear. He only is allowed to look there, not elsewhere. But um, uh, also a, a person proposing. So you propose to a woman, you're entitled to go in the first interview to look at her and to, to take a good look not to pretend that you're shy and look downwards and not see her. No, take a good look. Examine the merchandise because she's going to do the same to you. She's going to examine you. And if she doesn't like what she sees, well, then we don't have a, a green light. Likewise, some jurors say that you are entitled to look at a woman who's coming to the shop to buy. Because... This woman, when she buys a product and goes and comes after an hour and she says, I bought this product from you and it was defected and I'd like to return it. If you didn't see her, you said, I don't know, I, I, I didn't see you, I don't know you. And then this would not do a good job. You have to see her so that you can recognize that she, it was the one that bought it from you. But in general, doctors, receptionists, nurses, etc., you have to lower your gaze. One feels a little bit embarrassed. How can I, Sheikh, speak to someone and do this, uh, excuse me, can you give me this or exchange this and have an appointment and not look at them? They will be offended. So what? Let them be offended. They're there not to be courteous and socialize with me. They're there to do their job. Likewise, if a teacher, and I'm compelled to go to a university and the teacher is a female, I have to look at the board all the time. I have to look at my notebooks. I have to look elsewhere, not on that teacher, especially if she's not properly dressed. And even if there is fitna, then it becomes haram for you to be in such a place as your religion comes first. So you have to weigh the pros and cons and Allah knows best.